Hello everyone. In this session, we will continue our discussion on sentiment analysis process. In the last session, we discussed about the sentiment analysis process. We discussed the multi-step process to sentiment analysis. In this session, we will discuss uh, these topics. First, we will discuss the methods for polarity identification, which are first using a lexicon and second one is using a collection of training data set. Next, we will discuss about identifying the semantic orientation of a sentence and phrases. We will discuss about identifying the semantic orientation of document and then we will discuss the large textual data sets for predicting text mining and sentiment analysis. So, first we will discuss methods for polarity identification. Polarity identification deals with identifying the polarity of a text. It can be made at word, term, sentence or a document level. The most granular, le granular level for polarity identification is at the word level and for this we use a lexicon uh, using a lexicon or we use a collection of training data training documents. Once the polarity identification is made at the word level then it can be aggregated to the next higher level and then next using next until the level of aggregation desired from the sentiment analysis is reached and here we will be discussing about identifying the semantic orientation of sentences and phrases, identifying the semantic orientation of documents. The two dominant techniques used for identification of polarity at the word or term level are using a lexicon as a reference library, using a collection of training documents as a source of knowledge about the polarity of terms within a specific domain. Let us discuss this one by one. First is using a lexicon. A lexicon is essentially catalog of words, their synonyms and their meanings for a given language. In addition to lexicon for many other languages, there are several general purpose lexicon created for English. So, first the most popular general purpose lexicon is WordNet created at Princeton University which has extended which has been extended and used by many researchers and practitioners for sentiment analysis purpose. As described on the WordNet website wordnet.princeton.edu, it is a large lexical database of, of English including nouns, verbs, adjectives and adverbs grouped into sets of cognitive synonyms each expressing a distinct concept. Since sets are interlinked by means of conceptual, semantic and lexical relationships. Next, after WordNet, so first was about WordNet. Now there is there are some extensions to this WordNet and an interesting extension of WordNet was created by Sebastiani in 2006 where they added polarity like positive and negative and objectivity, subjective and objective labels for each term in the lexicon. To each term they classify the sin set that is a group of synonyms to which this term belongs using a set of ternary classifier that is three labels, a measure that attaches to each object exactly one of the three labels, each of them capable of decide, deciding whether a sin set is 
पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव और ऑब्जेक्टिव रिजेंटिंग स्कोर रेंज फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन गिविंग अ ग्रेडेड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ ओपिनियन रिलेटेड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द टर्म्स दिस कैन बी समड अप विजुअली एज इन फिगर बिलो द एडजस्ट ऑफ द ट्राइंगल रिप्रेजेंट वन ऑफ द थ्री क्लासिफिकेशन दैट इज पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव a term can be located in this space as a point representing the extent to which it belongs to each of the classification now in this diagram you can see we have positive negative subjective objective so in between these two we have positive negative polarity and in between these two we have subjective objective polarity now next one more extension of wordnet that is a similar extension methodology is used to create senti wordnet a publicly available lexicon specially developed for opinion mining purpose senti wordnet assigns to each sin set of wordnet three sentiment score positive negative objectivity next another extension to wordnet is wordnet effect developed by staparwa and validity they label wordnet sin sets using effective labels representing different effective categories like emotion cognitive state attitude feeling and so on wordnet has been wordnet has also been directly used in sentiment analysis for example kim and hovi in 2004 and hu and liu in 2005 generated lexicons of positive and negative terms by starting with a small list of c terms of known polarity example love like nice etc and then using the antonomy antonyms and synonyms property of terms to group them into either of the polarity categories next we'll discuss the second method that is using a collection of training documents it is possible to perform sentiment classification using statistical analysis and machine learning tools that take advantage of vast resources of labeled documents available product review site websites like amazon cnet ebay rotten tomatoes and imdb have all extensively used as source of annotated data the star system provide an explicit label of overall polarity of the review and it is often taken as golden standard in algorithm evaluation a variety of manually labeled textual data is available through evaluation efforts such as text retrieval conference trec cross language evaluation forum clef Individual researchers and research groups have also produced many interesting data sets. Once an already labeled textual data set is obtained, a variety of predictive modeling and other machine learning algorithms can be used to train sentiment classifiers. Some of the most popularly used algorithm for task include artificial neural network support vector machines k nearest neighbor naive bayes decision trees and expectation maximizing expectation maximization based clustering now next identifying semantic orientation of sentence and phrases once the semantic orientation of individual words has been determined it is often desired to extend this to the phrase or sentence the word appears in the simplest way is 
to accomplish such aggregation is to use some type of averaging of the polarity of words in phrases or sentences though rarely applied such aggregation can be as complex as using one or more machine learning techniques to create a predictive relationship between the words and phrases or sentences next identifying semantic orient orientation of documents even though the vast majority of work in in this area is done in determining semantic orientation of words and phrases or sentences some task like summarization and information retrieval may require semantic labeling of the whole document similar to the case in aggregating sentiment polarity from the word level to phrase or sentence level aggregation to document level is also accomplished by some type of averaging sentiment orientation of the document may not make sense for very large documents therefore it is often used on small to medium size document documents posted on internet next we'll discuss about the data set technology insights large textual data sets for predictive text mining and sentiment analysis so these are the some of the data sets so congressional floor debate transcript it was published by thomas and other others contains political speeches that are labeled to indicate whether the speaker supported or opposed the legislation discussed economic mining published by stern school at new york university it consists of feedback postings for merchants at amazon.com next cornell movie review data set it was introduced by pang and lee it contains 1000 positive 1000 negative automatically derived document level labels and 5331 positive and negative sentences per snippet stanford large movie review data set it consists of 2000 25000 highly polar movie reviews for training and 25000 for testing next mpqa that is multi perspective question answering corpus so corpus and opinion recognition system contains 535 manually annotated news articles from a variety of news sources containing labels for opinion and private states that is beliefs emotions and speculations and the last is multi aspect restaurant review introduced by snyder and berzile it contains 4488 reviews with an explicit 1 to 5 ratings for five different aspects that is food ambience service value and overall experience so in this session we 